Today I have the original Mavic Air. This one isn't mine, though it is the same color as the one I drowned in a nearby river a few years ago. This poor fellow seems to have taken a tumble while recording a local football team. Anybody including drones can get injured out there. I'll be replacing the right rear arm of this fine aircraft, and I'll be showing you how. I'll start by removing the four propellers. You don't have to worry about mixing these up. The symbols on the propellers will match the corresponding symbols on the motor heads. They can be pushed down and turned to unlock easily. I'll start behind the right shoulder and insert a pry tool under the plastic top shell. It's held in with several plastic clips, and depending on which revision of the air you have, it may have two screws under the gimbal. This one does not. The shell could easily be changed for another color if you wanted. The silver spoiler is held down with some sturdy adhesive. It can crack, so make sure you separate the entire length before removing it. There are 10 identical Phillips screws that secure the top housing. One of them has a tamper evident sticker. The screws all have thread locker on them, so some force is necessary. Now slow down Rambo. Before we yank this top cover off, we've got to unlatch these two little ribbons. They aren't necessary, but they are attached to the gimbal motor ribbon, and ripping that wire isn't very fun. If the tab breaks off, it, it doesn't affect anything. The top panel should come off easily. Two Phillips screws hold this copper colored shield in place and need to be removed. Three Lego connectors need to be disconnected. These control the rear and downward facing obstacle sensors. A single screw holds a small shield over another connector off to the left side. Unfortunately, my camera did not record this portion, so just pretend. Up towards the front, we find another shield held in with four screws of varying sizes. Keep a good map on this one. The shield may have some adhesive under it, and it might need to be rocked back and forth to release it. The board fan now needs to be pulled away gently. It's held in with some adhesive, and there's a small connector attached to a wire that will need to be unplugged before pulling it away. Underneath, you'll encounter three more Legos that need to be disconnected, as well as this beefy but fragile camera transmission cable. It can be gently pried up from either side, but never put stress on the wires themselves. Off to the left, there are two antenna wires that need to be unlatched. One of them is routed through the board shields tightly. The top board is finally free to be pulled up and out of the housing, revealing the top of the lower board that we'll be working on. The motor has three wires that run through the arm and are soldered to the board. DJI has also placed a dollop of what appears to be caulk or liquid nails. It will need to be picked off before the wires will come loose. I'll bet the soldering iron would quickly disintegrate the putty, but my fume extractor already deals with more than it should. Each wire can be desoldered from the board. I'm going to add a bit of solder to the pads on the board, as a lot came off with the wires themselves. Turning the drone upside down, the arm is attached with two Torx head screws. Both should be set aside. The arm is friction fit on the joint. With a bit of encouragement, the arm should pull away and the wires will come with it. Now I'll take the new arm and route it through the hole. Pressing the joint together. The two torque screws will get tightened firmly into the shoulder. Flipping back to the top of the drone, I'll align the wires with their respective pads and solder them back on. Black to B, red to G, and white to W, just like the one on the left. I'll then cover the wires with silicone adhesive, just how it was before. This will keep the wires from breaking off the solder joints during flight. The original propeller latch needs to be transferred over as well. Two screws keep it secured to the brushless motor. Be careful here, there's a spring that sits just below the latch. Now the board can be slipped back on top, and don't forget the tiny shield and screw over the leftmost connector. From there, it's just speedy reassembly. Mavic Air is one of my favorites, considering it's still the drone I fly myself. And this one seems to have held up to some pretty severe nosedives. I think it will live to fly another day. Now it's time for some testing. Each propeller will get latched back into place by pressing down and rotating. battery pack gets clipped into the power bay, and the gimbal cover removed. Looking good, old friend. Thanks a ton for watching till the end of the video. I noticed the Mavic Air page of iFixit is blank. 
So over the next week or so, I'll be doing my best to share a guide on this repair and possibly my previous video about replacing the IMU. Be sure to subscribe for more repair videos, come see some weird stuff on my social media, or consider supporting me over on Patreon. I'll see you next time.